my brow and I sweat my rust. Hi guys, today I am going to be starting out in a little mini series on customizing models. I got a request on customizing. Now I am not the best customizer. I am definitely not fantastic. I haven't done too many customs, but I do think it'll be fun just kind of let you know my process. And so today I'm going to be starting this girl. She came to me unpainted. She's a briar unpainted horse. So really the only thing I had to do to her was make her so that she's smooth. I had to sand off the logos. Before you do any customizing, sand off all logos and seams and anything like that. You want them to look very, very nice. Do not let them have any seams. And by the way, I will be doing a separate video for prepping and priming and stuff like that when I actually get around to customizing a horse like this that's art that's repainted that needs to be prepped. And when they are prepped, they end up looking like this. That's what they'll look like. It's another in progress one. All right. So we're starting with this girl. Let me show you the color I'm aiming for on her. I'm going to have her stay as an American Saddlebred. There we go. I'm aiming to have her be kind of a nice glowing chestnut. I've never done a chestnut before, so I'm super excited to try that one out. And I want to give her a lot of chrome, a whole lot of white markings. Probably a big blaze, high stockings. And I can't remember if I even said this or not, but she is going to be a live show donation for August. All right. I'm going really fast, I know, but my camera's about to die, so. Anyways, for my base layer. Now, a lot of you might think, okay, start with a brown. Start with a light brown. Nope. I'm starting with a nice macaroni and cheese kind of color. Like, you know, in Crayola crayons, you, there's always a color called macaroni and cheese. This is the color I am aiming towards. So this will be my base layer on my horse and this will let her color kind of glow. When she's done, her color will kind of glow, look really nice, her highlighting will look really good. Like this guy right here, I didn't just start with brown on him. His base layer is red. That's why he's a nice kind of red bay color. So that's a, that's a nice tip for you. If you paint with acrylics, like acrylics, oils, anything like that, start with a nice bright color. Like me, I'm starting with this macaroni and cheese color. And then also, so your paint can go on nice and smooth because, oh no, because you don't want paint or brush streaks on your paint job, otherwise it will look absolutely terrible. Use this stuff right here. This is the stuff of the gods right here. This is Liquitex glazing medium. And you just put a little dot or two into your paint and it helps your paint stay very, very smooth. There's lots of other benefits to it as well, but really it just helps keep it super smooth so that you don't get brush strokes. I can't open this. So you don't get brush strokes in it. So I'm just going to put just a couple tiny dots into my paint. Close my glazing medium. And this stuff is only like, I think this thing was five or six bucks. And then take your palette knife. Palette knife is good. I don't like mixing with a paintbrush because when you mix with a paintbrush, it gets it all gross and ugh, it's harder to clean out. So mix it all up, mix, mix, mix. Make it look nice, get a nice even color. And then take your paintbrush, dip it into some water, get it kind of wet. Don't let it be too wet. If it's too wet, it'll get bubbles. Dip it into your paint. And you'll just start painting on your horse. It might take a couple layers and that is perfectly fine. You will probably need a couple layers just so you can get it nice and bright, nice and smooth everything like that. Ta-da! First layer done. Right now she looks like she has been dipped into some Velveeta, <laughs> but that is what you want if you are painting a 
a, a chestnut colored horse, especially if you're looking for a bright, bright chestnut. This could also be a first layer in kind of a dark palomino. So there's that one for you. And as you can tell with just the first layer, she's not totally solid color. There are parts where you can see the priming through her. This camera just does not want to show this color at all. But anyways, it's not totally perfect, but it is good enough for right now. And then you'll wait for this layer to dry, and then you'll go back with your second layer. With this one, you'll usually want two or three layers, depending on how opaque the paint is. Some paint is very watery, no matter what you do to it, so you'll need more layers. But other paint will go down really smooth, really nice the first time. So yes, there is that first layer. And now I will get my paintbrush back and start painting the second layer. All right, here is the end of my uh, model horse customizing tutorial of part one. I have all my layers down. She's a nice, even Velveeta mac and cheese color. <laughs> She just looks like craft right now. But that's what you want. And that will be your first step. So then you'll just let this all dry, let it completely dry. Acrylics luckily dry pretty fast. And then my, in my next step on this, I will be going into getting into the next layers, building up that nice chestnut color. You'll finally get to start bringing out the real horsey colors next. Yay! Wild spirit out.